Hi everyone again, it's Louise, and I'm back for another pour today, and I just want to take a minute to thank everybody for joining me, and uh, if you are a new subscriber, please don't think all I ever do are swipes, because this is something I've only just gotten into in the last three weeks or so, and I'm doing it because of my, uh, my niece has asked me to make her a few paintings for her living room, which I have yet to get to, but I'm getting the technique down, so... We're getting there. Uh, I do like deconstructed blooms. I like blooms. I like tiles. Uh, I like open cups, flip cups. Something I need to work on are ring pours, and Dutch pours, which I just haven't had time to get into. But I'm going to continue on with a, another um, swipe today, a little different than how I've been working up toward my niece's project. And on this one, I'm just going to go a straight, a straight line across, and I'm going to take large paper towel and go back this way and catch the edges, and then I'm going to embellish as it develops. Uh, this, by the way, is a pour over. Um, this was a pearl pour. By the way, I do pearl pours too. I love pearl pours, but this just didn't make the grade for me. So it's going to. Uh, get covered over. <laughs> um, here's some leftover base paint that's silver. A whole bunch of mixture in here. I really can't even tell you exactly what's in here, but it's silver and it's very thin. So it's fairly thin. Hope you can see that. So that's the base. I have Goldens Carbon Black here. I've gone on a Goldens shopping spree. Golden Zeridus and Silver. My usual Pearl from Golden. Golden Burnt Sienna. And Golden Iridescent Gold. And I also have the black base I have been using, which is a combination of uh, Artist Loft and Deco Arts Obsidian. I want, to, I want to see, possibly, if the time comes up, how this compares to the golden black. So that's the lineup for today, and we're going to get going. I'll get you down in a second. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm going to lay down my colors. And I'll probably just put this on time lapse and voiceover so I can listen to some music since I haven't done it like this before. I want to be able to kind of just get into a rhythm if I can. So that's the plan. All right, so let's start. So here I'm taking a full length of a paper towel and spritzing it with water. I cover both sides with water to weigh it down. And then I insert it into the center of the paint and make sure it hooks on. You can kind of feel it hooking on before you pull it. And then I slowly pull it one direction. And then I actually use the same paper towel, place it back in the center on the opposite side and pulled in the other direction. And this worked out really nicely because the weight that was left on the paper towel from the paint going the first direction really helped weigh down that paper towel going down the second way. And I do this for the next two sections, one direction, then the other, same paper towel.
Here I'm just laying down a couple dabs of uh, burnt sienna and gold on the end here, kind of like a little cheat to get a little better coverage on the ends since I've been having trouble with that. It definitely seemed to help. So here I'm just pointing out that there seems to be a lack of color on that end. So I'm gonna go back in and add some more color again. I mean, you can add color as many times as you want to to get it to the color combination that you want. So that's what I do. I add some burnt sienna, then some of the gold, adding a little extra on both ends. since, like I said, that seems to be my little problem child. And then I, I think I go over it all with black again. Oh, I have a little pearl. And a little more color. <laughs> and then I think I go back over the whole thing with black. Yeah, here we go. And then I'm going to go back over, pull them both directions, the whole length of the canvas again, and then see what we get this time.
A lot of these swipes comes from Cos Creations with Kathleen, and this one in particular comes from Courtney Holscher, who I just started watching her videos on YouTube. And this is from the lost footage number five. And when I saw her video and the outcome, I said, I just have to try that. And here we go. I'm trying it. So I will say that between all of us here, we should be inspiring each other to try different things. And in trying different things, you find what your own voice is. And it's so cool to find what your style is and what you feel comfortable creating. Because what's, what works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another. But little bits and pieces from this person might help you out. So it is just an amazing thing that we have the luxury of YouTube and to be able to see what each other is doing and try things and figure out what we want to do for ourselves going forward.
Hey everyone, so I'm about ready to wrap up here and I have to say for myself I'm quite pleased with how this turned out for our first stab in trying to create a landscape and kind of like this lunar surface or space surface. So more research to do on perspective. Just want to say thanks again for stopping by and take care.